Pulisic was prepared to come out and say these things, even with Tuchel in charge at Chelsea. Why? Do, why? Why? Why do you need to write a book? I don't know why he's putting out a, a book. Uh, I guess uh, I don't know. He wants to copy me. I guess <laughs> it's why he wants to put, <laughs> put a book out. But and it's actually Tuchel's fault. You don't go telling players one thing, and then when it comes to it, you do something else. <laughs> but, but just to go back to my original question: uh -huh. Why? Oh my days. Managers change their mind. All right, when it happens to you, you're a little bit gutted, you're a little bit upset, but it all just sounds a little bit babyish to me. I mean, this whinge would carry more weight if, you know, Chelsea had lost. Right. You get Thomas Tuchel sitting there <laughs> and he's off his feet up, big cigar. You bash the door in, storm in there, and he's getting all barrels and he'll just go. And we won. Yeah. Well, he, I, would, I would have been his teammate. I would have come to him and I say, well, what, why are you whining about? You are somehow focused on writing this book now. Oh, it's very dramatic, Gab. <laughs> what does he gain from it? ESPN FC has had plenty to say on the explosive excerpts from Christian Pulisic's upcoming book. In case you missed him, here's the comments about the second leg of last year's Champions League semi-final against Real Madrid. Of course, we remember Pulisic scored Chelsea's lone goal in the first leg. Quote, what happened before that game was hugely disappointing for me. I had a really good first leg performance and our following match was against Fulham in the league. Tuchel told me that he was resting me for the second leg and as a result, I didn't play a single minute in the Fulham game. Then. On match day of the second semi, Tuchel tells me he's changed his mind and he's going with Kai Havertz. I honestly was dumbfounded and very disappointed. Herc, are you cool with Pulisic's public criticism of his now former manager at Chelsea? Yeah, I'm cool with it. Let, let me just... Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you why. Okay, let me okay. just get a few things off. Uh, off my chest. Dan Thomas hates <laughs> Christian Pulisic. <laughs> hates Christian Pulisic. Dan Thomas of ESPN FC. Um, I think Dan Thomas hates all the Christian Pulisic fans in the YouTube comments because I know he reads them. And, and why would he do this? Yes. I also mentioned Dan Thomas hosts uh, ESPN FC, which has talked about Christian Pulisic's book excerpts. Not the last day, not the last two days, the last three days. Why would he do this? Love you, Dan. Uh, because, as you can see on ESPN FC, mm -hmm. they've spoken about Christian Pulisic in this book for the last three days. It sells. Christian Pulisic sells. Good or bad, he's polemic, he sells. So why would he write a book? Because it would sell. Okay, let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there. Can I Christian just really quickly say my, I just want, want. Christian Pulisic doesn't need the money. Hold on. Like the great American poet, Marshawn Lynch said, <laughs> make your money, take care of y'all chicken. Okay, I hope he does that. Now, go ahead. Why not, why not wait? Like, if you're Christian Pulisic, yes, it sells. Obviously, you always want to grow your brand. Do you need a book right now? Do you need a book that's commenting on your manager? Who, by the way, if, if we assume, I mean, obviously this book didn't appear in the last two days, this was going to be published with Thomas Tuchel potentially as manager. Good point, Was Christian Sandy. Pulisic really, like, willing to... So, that, so that, I, hey, I thought about if that. If Tuchel's a manager, this is a... Th you think this three He's days done. on FC. He's it's done. Seven days. He's done. Yeah, yeah. He's done. Do you think if Tuchel's a manager, it's still in the book? That's what I wonder. Of I course wonder. it's still in the book. You don't... I mean, you have to assume this was cleared months ago. Right. So he would have right. thought that Christian Pulisic... Or yeah. sorry, that Thomas Tuchel would still be his manager. That tells me how upset Christian Pulisic was. Like he now, didn't care. Like he didn't Thomas care. Thomas Tuchel broke code. Mm. Okay? And Steve, um, Steve Nichol yep. alluded to it in the FC segment when he said it's on Thomas Tuchel. Yeah, yeah. It's also on Christian Pulisic. But Thomas Tuchel broke code first. You don't tell a player and then go back on it. That said, Craig Burley's absolutely right. He did what he needed to do to win that game. So Christian Pulisic can have zero argument because they won the Champions League final. They won the Champions League. They lifted that trophy. So whatever Thomas Tuchel did, you eat it as a player. Now, does Christian Pulisic have a gripe? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. He was lied to. Absolutely. Do I have a problem with him putting this in the book? No. Because obviously people want, or he feels people want to hear what he has to say, and it will sell. So I've got zero issue here. I've got more of an issue the reaction to it. Okay. From? From British media, from a sector of pundits. over at FC. That think that Christian Perisic is so irrelevant. Boy, he's so irrelevant. You've spoken about him for the last three days. <laughs> this is exactly why he writes a book, because people want to hear what he has to say. Now, he's 24 years old. He just turned it on Sunday, I believe, mm -hmm. right? Yep. The guy started playing with the national team at 16 years old. He's been at this for eight years. Already won a Champions League. He's about to go to his first World Cup. There are... People out there who think he's experienced enough 
where they're interested in what he has to say. Whether you think he's right or wrong, that's a different story. But don't act surprised that the kid wrote a book. We're focusing he's not the first and he won't be the last. No, it is very early. And obviously, I think that that plays a lot into why people raise their eyebrows. Right? He's 24 years old. Um, we're focusing a lot on the dump out and, and the very disappointed. It was clear that he wanted to take shots at Tuchel, though, because he also talked about that first goal in the first leg against Real Madrid. And in the book, in one of the excerpts, he says, Tuchel was literally telling me not to make the run that I made that ends in the goal. That is, that is a we have shots, show, that fired. Is shots fired. So I, I thought to myself, like, how could you hear that? You're on the field. And then I went back and actually watched highlights of that game. It was right. during the pandemic. Right. There was zero crowd in that game. So you could absolutely hear the coaches on the sideline. Now, that doesn't surprise me from Thomas Tuchel because Thomas Tuchel is an uber defensive coach, sure, sure. right? Took a chance. It paid off for you. Good. But he also talks about the play of the assist on Mason Mount. And that speaks to me of the high IQ of Christian Pulisic in that game. He has to wait for the play to develop for Mason Mount to recognize the run and then get in front of his defender and then put it across for the goal. These are things that me as a pundit, and if you're a U.S. Men's National Team fan, you, you want to hear and you are dumbfounded by like, wow, this kid is actually pretty intelligent in the way he sees the game. Now, where he lacks in that intelligence is that social awareness to know that this may impact him going forward with Thomas Tuchel, because Thomas Tuchel was just let go recently. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.